Welcome to this CME webcast, the first in a series of three that explores topics relevant to cyclin-dependent kinase, or CDK4 and 6 inhibition in breast cancer. I'm Dr. Mark Pegram from Stanford University, where I direct the breast cancer program, and I'm co-director of the translational oncology program at Stanford as well in the Stanford Cancer Institute. In this webcast, I will describe the cyclin-D1 CDK4-6 pathway how it functions as a regulator of the cell cycle, and how the pathway becomes dysregulated in breast cancer. I will explain the mechanism of action of CDK inhibition, and I will discuss the rationale for using CDK4-6 inhibitors to combat endocrine resistance in hormone receptor positive breast cancer. Now, in terms of cell cycle regulation and dysregulation, there are four key phases, of course, in the cell cycle. These phases, you might imagine, are highly regulated, both by activators that control progression through the cycle, as well as breaks that uh, attenuate progression through the cell cycle. When properly regulated, uh, this pathway is responsible for normal physiologic cell division, of course. Loss of cell cycle control as a result of aberrancies and dysregulation of cell cycle control is indeed one of the hallmarks of cancer as highlighted by Hannah Hannon Weinberg in their classical review of the hallmarks of cancer. Now the key players in the cyclin D1 CDK4-6 cell cycle control pathway are the cyclin-dependent kinases themselves, CDK4 and 6. These are protein kinases that phosphorylate cellular proteins leading to their activation or inactivation and act at the G1 to synthetic phase checkpoint. Cyclin D1 is the regulatory subunit of CDK4 and 6. Its binding to CDK4-6 causes CDK4-6 activation. The RB retinoblastoma protein is a tumor suppressor. Uh, it forms a complex with the E2F transcription factors, and uh, E2F is the executioner of the regulation of the RB protein during cell cycle checkpoint control. A bit of history, many of the key concepts of CDK biology was actually discovered more than 20 years ago. These discoveries, based on studies in the yeast model, led to awarding the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine to Hartwell, Nurse, and Hunt back in 2001. Again, key processes that regulate the CDK4-6 cyclin D1 uh, process, uh, controlled phosphorylation of the RB protein is essential to progression of the normal cell cycle into the synthetic phase of the cycle. In the hypophosphorylated state, RB protein is active and stays coupled with E2F to suppress gene transcription and arrest the cell cycle in G1. However, in the phosphorylated state, the RB protein becomes inactive, uncouples from E2F, and therefore loses its ability to suppress gene transcription. In response to mitogenic signaling, cyclin D1 complexes with CDK4-6 leading to phosphorylation of the RB protein. The RB protein does not serve as a tumor suppressor after phosphorylation, and uncontrolled cell prolifer proliferation can result, especially if there are aberrancies in control of this pathway. Next, this animation will illustrate the mechanism of the CDK4-6 cyclin D1 RBE2F pathway. In order to better understand the biology of the signaling pathways and how they relate to the mechanism of action of CDK4-6 inhibitors, we have prepared some animation that illustrate these points. One approach to treating advanced estrogen receptor positive breast cancer is by targeting the cell cycle. In a healthy cell, the cell cycle is well controlled. However, in a cancer cell, the cell cycle is deregulated from mutations or upstream signals, causing cancer cells to proliferate at faster rates than healthy cells. For example, in estrogen receptor positive breast cancer cells, the deregulation of the cell cycle is caused by the overexpression and overactivation of growth factor and estrogen receptor pathways. When these pathways become activated, they instigate a cascade of mitogenic signals. A wide variety of mitogenic signaling pathways converge at the level of cyclin D1 messenger RNA and protein upregulation. 
cyclin D1 binds to and activates cell cycle dependent protein kinases, or CDK, 4 and 6. The activated cyclin D1 CDK46 complex mediates the phosphorylation and inactivation of the tumor suppressor retinoblastoma protein. In a normal state, activated RB protein inhibits the cell cycle from progressing through the G1 phase. The phosphorylation of the RB or retinoblastoma protein releases E2F transcription factors from the protein complex causing the cell cycle to progress from G1 to S phase and resulting in cancer cell proliferation. In terms of expression in breast cancer, uh, cyclin D1 is frequently dysregulated. In some instances, the dysregulation occurs at the level of gene amplification, uh, where in up to 20% of breast cancers, the gene itself can be amplified, resulting in overexpression and constitutive activation. Even in cases that don't have amplification of the cyclin D1 gene, cyclin D1 protein can be dysregulated, uh, resulting in overexpression in uh, as much as half of all human breast cancers. Now, there are new competitive inhibitors of this pathway, particularly those that block the CDK46 complex and its association with cyclin D1, thereby preventing the phosphorylation of the RB protein uh, stopping the cell cycle from progression to the S phase, and this will ultimately lead to prevention of cancer cell proliferation. And these, act these uh, activities of CDK4-6 inhibitors are selective for uncontrolled proliferating cells such as cancer cells. This slide illustrates CDK4-6 inhibitors that are either approved by the FDA already or currently in clinical development. Palbocyclib was the first in class to win FDA approval back in February 2015 for treatment of ER-positive metastatic breast cancer. Ribocyclib and abemocyclib are two further examples of CK CDK4-6 inhibitors that are currently in clinical development showing promising early results. The next slide will illustrate an animation of the mechanism of action of this class of CDK4-6 inhibitors. There are three selective ATP competitive inhibitors that have been developed to target the cyclin D1 CDK46 complex. These small molecule inhibitors block the cyclin D1 CDK46 complex and prevent the phosphorylation of RB protein. This stops the cell cycle from progressing to the S phase, preventing cell cancer proliferation or growth. In addition to causing transient G1 cell cycle arrest, preclinical evidence suggests that these inhibitors can also cause senescence and apoptosis. Targeting the cell cycle with CDK4-6 inhibitors is a promising treatment option for patients with hormone receptor positive breast cancer. Now, in terms of CDK4-6 inhibition in breast cancer, one of the ideals for the treatment of estrogen receptor positive breast cancer would be to overcome endocrine resistance pathways. 60 to 70 percent of breast cancers are, in fact, hormone receptor positive. Current treatments aim to decrease ER levels and or block the estrogen receptor. Some cancers are refractory to such therapies initially, i.e. de novo resistance, and unfortunately others become resistant over time, exhibiting acquired resistance. Resistance to estrogen deprivation involves activation of growth factor pathways to bypass endocrine dependence in many cases. Novel therapeutics are needed to combat endocrine therapy resistance. So in summary, the cyclin D1 CDK4-6 pathway is a key regulator of the cell cycle. In breast cancer, when the cyclin D1 gene is amplified and or overexpressed, there is phosphorylation of the RB protein resulting in uncontrolled cell proliferation. Inhibitors to CDK4 and 6 prevent the phosphorylation of RB to halt uncontrolled cell proliferation. CDK4-6 inhibitors, in combination with anti-estrogen therapy, work to combat endocrine resistance in women with ER-positive breast cancer. One CDK4-6 inhibitor is FDA-approved, and two others are in Phase three development for breast cancer. With that, I thank you for participating in this webcast. I hope it will enrich your practice, and I encourage you to participate in the other two webcasts in this series.